दो से ठीक है आ, हमारे पास तीन नंबर्स देके रखे हैं दैट इज़ वन लॉगरिदम ऑफ दिस थिंग एंड दिस दे आर इन ए पी वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स राइट एक्स का वैल्यू इनमें से क्या आएगा वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड वी विल जस्ट गो फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस नाउ द क्वान्टिटीज आर इन ए पी सो वी विल राइट लॉगरिदम ऑफ सो द कॉमन डिफरेंस विल बी सेम लॉगरिदम ऑफ दिस इट इज थ्री की पावर वन माइनस एक्स प्लस टू माइनस द प्रीवियस टर्म दैट विल बी इक्वल दैट डिफरेंस विल बी इक्वल ऑफ जो लास्ट वाली टर्म है उसमें से दूसरी वाली टर्म को सब ट्रैक्ट करोगे इट्स फोर टाइम्स थ्री पावर एक्स माइनस वन एंड देन यू विल राइट माइनस लॉग रिदम ऑफ बेस इन द सेकेंड क्वान्टिटी इज नाइन दैट इज थ्री की पावर वन माइनस एक्स प्लस टू सो दिस इज गिवन दे आर इन ए पी सो वी कैन राइट द कॉमन डिफरेंस इज सेम बाई दैट वी हैव अराइव एट दिस पॉइंट राइट नाउ यहाँ से मैं इसकी बेस चेंज कर रहा हूँ देर इज नाइन थ्री एंड नाइन राइट बट इन Uh, these options there is no option which has a base नाइन so we will just try to convert it into say थ्री right so I will write logarithm base थ्री थ्री की पावर वन माइनस एक्स प्लस टू एंड द बेस्ट चेंज फार्मूला आई विल राइट इट लॉग रिदम ऑफ नाइन बेस इज थ्री एंड देन माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल Now the base is three. Keep it as it is. Let's go change it. करेंगे. You will write four times three uh, की power x plus minus one. And यहाँ पे फिर से base change करेंगे. You will get logarithm of three uh, की power one minus x plus two. And uh, the base is three. So you will write this as nine. And the base is three. Now what I have used यहाँ पे मैंने क्या use किया? If I am given logarithm of m to the base a, now you know we can write it as logarithm of m upon logarithm of a uh, with any base uh, b कोई कुछ भी choose कर लो you can just take it. So that thing holds. You know it from the properties of logarithms, right? सो so, इसको आगे सिंप्लीफाई करोगे आप यू विल राइट दिस इज लॉगरिदम ऑफ थ्री एज इट इज एंड देन थ्री की पावर वन माइनस एक्स एज इट इज प्लस टू एज इट इज नाउ इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस वी कैन राइट लॉगरिदम थ्री स्क्वायर बेस इज थ्री बिकॉज थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन माइनस वन विच विल बी इक्वल दिस विल बी लॉगरिदम And the base is three as it is. It is four times three to the power x minus one. And same thing here. Well, logarithm base is three, and then you have three to the power one minus x plus two. And in denominator, you will write logarithm of three square base is three. So you know this can be written as. Uh, logarithm three to the power one minus x plus two. Okay. Now you know the formula: a log of m power n. That is two i s. Log of three to the base three minus one, and uh, this thing as it is: logarithm of uh, four. Three to the power x minus one and minus. This is as it is. Logarithm of three to the power one minus x plus two and then again it is twice. A logarithm of three base three. Now you know this. This quantity is one and this quantity as well. It is equal to one. So I will 
further swallow it on this side. Okay. Then you will write it is logarithm base is 3, 3 key power 1 minus x, then it is plus 2 in denominator. You will have only 2 because log 3 base 3 is 1, then it is minus 1 here, which will equal to uh, the first will remain as it is log base is 3 4 times 3 key power x and then you have minus 1 okay and then you have the uh, minus term that is a logarithm of uh, 3 key power 1 minus x plus 2 uh, upon 2 only because log of 3 to the base 3 will be again. So you can uh, take this quantity to that side, right? These are two uh, similar quantities, this thing, and this one and this one. When you will add them, what you will get is, you will get a logarithm of 3 key power 1 minus x plus 2 only. Because this was half and this was half, then when the moment it will shift here, it will become a 1. Okay. Then you have minus 1 and you are left with logarithm of a 3, 4, 3 key power x minus 1. Okay. Now in place of this 1, we can write base is 3. We will just keep in that mind, right? 1 minus x plus 2 minus you can write log of 3 base 3 that's one again so you can write that which is equal to the log of base is 3 4 times 3 key power x minus 1 okay it's done so here you can use the property log of m minus n is log of m by n. Okay, that you will write log of base is 3, 3 key power 1 minus x plus 2 upon 3 only, and uh, you will get now you will take care of log of. Uh, logarithm on both sides so you are left with okay but I have 3 1 minus x plus 2 upon 3 that is equal to 4 times 3 key power x minus 1 so you will cross multiply what you will get is 3 key power 1 minus x plus 2 the moment you will take the cross multiply it will be 12 times 3 key power x minus Okay. Now this side, I'm going to rub it around. Okay. The remaining solution. So what you will write is, uh, which implies. 3 upon 3 key power x because uh, it's minus x so you will write it as then you have 2 and that negative will shift here that's positive 3 then you have minus 12 times 3 key power x and uh, that is 0 now multiply by this 3 upon 3 key power x plus 5 minus it is 12 3 key power x that's equal to 0 now multiply throughout by 3 key power x right so I am left with 3 plus 5 3 key power x minus 12 3 key power 2x that is 0 now on taking uh, the negative sign out you will be left with 12 3 key power 2x 
minus 5 3 to the power x and the last one is minus 3 that's equal to 0. Now I will put uh, this uh, 3 to the power x equal to t okay so you are left with uh, that will imply that 12 t square minus 5t plus not minus 3 equal to 0 so this uh, reduces to a quadratic equation and you know the roots of that that is t minus b that is 5 plus minus root of b square that is 25 plus 4 into 12 into 3 upon 2a that is 2 into 12 right so you will get um, how much you get t equal to 5 plus minus root of 25 and the moment you will take the product it will be how much uh, 48 into 3 or 36 into 4 how much is that 1 of 4 and 4 okay and uh, in the denominator will 2 times 12 that is 24 okay that implies t is equal to how much 5 plus or minus under root of 169 upon uh, 24 and uh, how much is that it's 5 plus or minus under root of 169 is 13 that's 24 okay now you are left with 5 plus 13 upon 24 or uh, 5 minus 13 upon 24 okay now in the first case you will get 18 upon 24 and in second one you will get 8 upon 24 now cancelling the same factors you will get 3 upon how much 4 and uh, this will be negative 1 upon 3 okay uh, this is the value of t now you know that t is equal to t is equal to how much t is 3 key power x and you know 3 key power x which is the exponential quantity that's always positive okay which implies i will write which implies uh, 3 key power x is uh, one is 3 upon 4 and another one is or you can write negative 1 upon 3 you will discard this because this exponential quantity is never negative which implies 3 key power x is 3 upon 4 only now taking the log to the base 3 on both sides you will get logarithm base 3 3 key power x equal to logarithm base 3 3 upon 4 so how much is this using the property that's x times logarithm of 3 base is 3 that is equal to uh, you can just write it as logarithm of 3 b minus logarithm of 4 base is 3 okay now you know this quantity is 1 so you'll get x equal to now you know this quantity is 1 so it's 1 minus logarithm of 4 base is 3 right this is the detailed solution of this so the option number second is very much correct okay so that's it.